Hey guys, NL7 here. Welcome to a Rainbow Six Siege gun review. And today, we're gonna talk about the 5.56 XI. This weapon is used by the attackers, most specifically, Thermite. The 5.56 XI can do a damage output to a low body armor, 46, that is if you shoot him in the body, which is the chest, stomach, or back, to 34. That is if you shoot him to the limbs, which are the arms and the legs. That will make it three to three shots, and with a suppressor, four to four. To a medium armor, it will do 41 to 31. That will make it a three to four shots, and with a suppressor, four to five. It will do a damage output to a high body armor, 37, 24. That will make it a three to five shots, and with a suppressor, four to six. It's consistent throughout the body shots, so try to always aim for that. Now for the reload time. This weapon clocks in at 2.8 seconds, putting it below average and first place to be the slowest reloading time for the assault rifle category. Now on an empty mag, it does 3.5 seconds. This is just horrible. So even though this weapon's already slow in reloading time, you will obviously want to have at least one bullet in the magazine because that's just atrocious how this reload time is. Now the fire rate for the 5.56 XI comes in at 690, put in is below average, and in second place tied with another assault rifle for the slowest fire rate for the assault rifle category. The mobility is 40, which puts it medium, the capacity is 30, which puts it average. The recoil pattern shoots vertically up to the right. You don't feel that as much, but you do feel the wobble recoil just a little bit. With control burst, it's pretty good. And for the hip fire, it's average. And it's reliable. Now for the iron sights. These iron sights, I do not like. They're pretty bad. And it's like a little reminder of the of another assault rifle which is the R4C. It's just the only difference is that that these sights are circle and the other ones are diamond. Obviously I hate the back sights of it, those two lumps on the side. Just I just don't like it. I would prefer something you know more optic than this. It's just it's just too nasty. Can't see anything through it that much. It's hard to see. And it really obscures your vision. You only have a little hole in the middle. So these are bad. Now for the recommended class. Like I said before, I don't like the, the iron sights. If you want to rock with it, you go ahead. I give you 100% props on doing that. But me, I would prefer the ACOG sight. The ACOG sight is, I think, complements this weapon because it has low recoil, clear view, and you can shoot from a distance with ease. Next, I put a suppressor on it, just because of the damage output is really high. Um, this doesn't hurt as much as you think. You can still feel the power behind the, the assault rifle, and it will drop your enemies really quickly. And you will obviously want to move around the map quietly as possible, without your enemies knowing where their shots come from. After that, I put a grip on it. This will make the vertical recoil stay in place, it doesn't shoot up as much. And having this weapon recoil already low, this will make it very low. After that, you will want to put a laser on it. With this, it will increase your hit fire, making your, your crosshairs much smaller and much tighter and much deadlier. Now the gadget I chose for Thermite, both gadgets are good, which are the Breach Charge and the Frag Grenade. Um, it's just depending on the situation and how you play. But the one I picked was the frag grenade. I felt more comfortable with that. It's more versatile. Um, you can actually use the frag grenade and clear out rooms if you have any suspicions of having an enemy in there. And also if you want to destroy any equipment around that area. You can and will partially destroy Castle Special Ability, which is the armor panel barricades. Creating light of sight or murder holes for you, your teammates, and for the enemies. So be very careful when you do this because the enemies will kill you. Nonetheless though, this will help 
your teammates and yourself a lot because this will make the enemies confused and would want to move from their spots, making them vulnerable and jittery, making them do stupid decisions in the process. Thermite also has a special ability, which is called the exothermic charge. What this is designed to do is to blow up reinforced walls or ceilings slash floors. But you can also destroy barricaded doors, windows, floors, ceilings, and walls if you want to. But be aware, if you do do that, the enemies have a chance to destroy your equipment from the other side. You can also kill an enemy if you put it precisely behind them. Okay guys, this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed and found this useful in any way, shape, or form. If it did, I would really appreciate if you give me a like, comment, share, and favorite. And if you want to stay updated with my content, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and also follow me on Twitter and Google+. Until next time.